Hello, Father James Kubicki here on the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes. Here's something that Pope Benedict said on this feast in the year 2010. In their concise descriptions of Jesus' brief but intense public ministry, the Gospels testify that he proclaimed the word and healed the sick, a sign par excellence of the closeness of the kingdom of heaven. For example, Matthew wrote, He went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every infirmity among the people. The church, entrusted with the task of extending Christ's mission in time and space, cannot neglect these two essential tasks, evangelization and the care of the sick in body and in mind. Indeed, God wants to heal the whole of man, and in the gospel the healing of the body is a sign of the deeper recovery that is the forgiveness of sins. It is therefore not surprising that Mary, mother and model of the church, is invoked and venerated as health of the sick. As the first and perfect disciple of her son in guiding the church on her journey, she has always shown special solicitude for the suffering. Witness to this are the thousands of people who go to Marian shrines to invoke the Mother of Christ and find in her strength and relief. The Gospel account of the visitation shows us how, after the announcement of the angel, the Virgin did not keep the gift she had received to herself, but immediately set out to go and help her elderly cousin Elizabeth, who was six months pregnant with John. In the support that Mary offered this relative, we see prefigured the whole of the church's action in support of life that is in need of care.